Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's section is how to develop um, uh, fire alarm circuiting in uh, AutoCAD. So here is uh, some symbols for fire alarms. Okay, for uh, yes means ceiling addressable intelligent fire alarm smoke detector. And uh, for this uh, marking like SB is for the uh, detector with uh, sounder. Okay and uh, AFC it's uh, um, with a remote indicator false ceiling um, a smoke detector over false ceiling uh, with the remote inductor okay, indicator and addressable intelligence multi uh, multi detector this was symbol okay this is heat uh, uh, detector and emergency lighting battery backup like that so control module monitor module like that we have a lot of uh, uh, fire alarm system family control panel and um, mimic panel like like that we have a lot of um, voice uh, system master panel like that we have one uh, uh, we have one um, legion so as per the legend we arranged the um, uh, like uh, this uh, fire alarm systems so this is a typical uh, flat uh, um, like apartments uh, apartment so normally we are giving one smoke detector in the master bedroom like this one is uh, we we can see the, what is this sb means so you can create the legend uh, with uh, sounder also okay so like that we are arranging these things and uh, we'll have it in living room we are providing multi detector and even the dressing room we need one smoke okay even uh, each each bedroom we need uh, one uh, multi like uh, with sounder uh, smoke detector even in the lobby we are giving like uh, one uh, one smoke detector okay so like that we are arranging this uh, 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 fire alarm okay in the in 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 our plan okay so for example this one uh, we need to make like this one in the center okay so it's it was in the center so like that we are arranging uh, smoke detector in the plan okay so for example for every co a small corridor we required one uh, smoke detector and even the dressing room we need one smoke detector and master room we need one okay so it depends upon the room okay so it's one it's enough for here and even the living room it's uh, having uh, this is a big living room that is what it's showing like two uh, uh, multi detector for that one uh, we can say this one 4000 okay so it will cover this like that you can give the coverage for the fire alarm okay so we'll give like this one so this will cover over this much area and this will cover over this much area so uh, i think uh, it is enough for uh, that living room so we can just make a little bit like like this okay so the for same thing for this uh, this one also you can make it like a, in a straight line okay so we can align with that so this is the methodology for this um, uh, living rooms and bedrooms how we are placing the fire alarms uh, maybe th this location will be variable like uh, if you have lighting drawing for this uh, apartment so maybe this this can be variable okay so for example i will show you i'll have one uh, lighting layout so for example this is my lighting layout okay so we need to move a little bit so we need to coordinate that one as per our lighting layouts okay for example i'm just changing the color of the light okay for example i'm giving this one uh, yellow okay so see you can see here all the lights over uh, uh, lights are placed over here okay so we need to just um, uh, just we need to move the move the uh, fire alarm system from the lighting okay so that is what we need to just we, we need to just need to coordinate the things okay so as per like that in ceiling coordination you need to do it okay so the, like that we can arrange the uh, spy see here it is a clash with the fire alarm so we need to adjust that one okay um, and uh, you can check like that okay so here also it's clashing with light okay so this it cannot be fit fitted over there so just uh, we need to just mean means we need to coordinate with the all other mechanical system diffusers fire sprinklers and everything so it will clash means we need to just move it that one uh, see this one also clashing with that uh, systems okay like that we need to arrange uh, um, like a coordination purpose we need to arrange the smoke and light and um, light is we need the 
some light uh, in the center uh, means uh, they have they'll have uh, some uh, lex calculations and everything so that is what we are keeping the lighting in the center so the, we, we can adjust the fire alarm okay as per the lighting or sprinklers and everything uh, so he see here also we have got a clash and we need to adjust the fire alarm a little bit so ceiling coordination is the most important in the uh, in this shop drawings and everything so design drawing they can put the all the things as per their um, uh, uh, arrangement so once it's come to the coordination uh, model so you need to adjust all the things as per the lights and the fire sprinklers and other devices uh, we need to coordinate okay cameras cameras and another things okay so you can adjust like this so this is the simple exercise for coordinating things and everything so once you did that one you can just um, unload this one or detach this one okay then we need to give a loop of uh, this fire alarm okay so this is the fire alarm uh, riser means it is coming um, uh, circuit uh, means uh, the loop is coming from the fscp uh, fscp maybe it will fly placed in the ground floor so we need to give from this riser it was coming okay so for example one um, one can one one loop is coming from down okay another another loop is coming from here okay so we, we just need to um, we just need to connect with uh, this um, uh, this all uh, fire alarm okay so what we can do we just started one okay loop one for example this one is a loop one so we need to connect with the, this fire alarm okay so just uh, for example i'm just reducing this one around 100 or 10 okay i will just uh, make it a little bit big 75 i'm giving okay so you can give like this and you need to give the dimension once you coordinated the things okay so then you need to give the exact dimension how much distance uh, need to be maintained with this one so easily the side people can understand uh, the things like uh, this much distance for this fire alarm and everything uh, and then you need just need to connect like this and uh, what we can do we will uh, go for um, uh, this way and connecting for this uh, this fire alarm okay and i'm just connecting that one and uh, 400 okay just give a little bit more 200 let okay then connected this one so as per this we need to develop the schematic also so i will show you another video how to develop a schematic and everything uh, so this one we need to connect to this uh, fire alarm okay connect like this and connect like this connect to this one uh, what we can do just to connect it like this so elevation is different elevation is same and we'll just uh, draw like this okay draw like this and we need to connect this one to this fire alarm so once you drawing uh, the, these two are uh, like uh, as per your these connections the the schematic also developing okay so careful about that okay wherever you connecting you can give the number of uh, uh, the things and everything okay so then connecting to this one at least 30 40 uh, fire alarm we can connect to the in, in one loop and this one is connecting like this okay and going to this way and connecting to this uh, uh, this fire alarm like this okay so you can connect like this we can change the lts uh, 10 25 okay so you can see a little bit to uh, this one and even the line weight also you can uh, reduce okay so this one we can say like uh, okay so so we'll, we'll connecting to this one to another fire alarm like this okay so another one it you can connect to uh, connect so this is the loop one okay so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll connect like this okay so we'll connecting like that once you connected that that uh, and every, everything you need to give the dimensions for all e systems that is very important 
okay so the, the people can understand this uh, this much uh, distance from this wall or the main wall you can give the dimensions okay that is a better way and uh, each each system you need to give the uh, dimensions okay dimensions is the most important the, then once you install the site so they can once you coordinated the things and you can easily uh, easily they can understand okay so there will be no issue we can ins um, we can install the fire alarm or lighting as per this dimensions okay so careful about don't uh, forget to give the dimensions for each system each fire alarm system okay or each each systems in MEP plan so dimension is the most important one so this is the way we are connecting this uh, fire alarm uh, in each loop okay so we'll connecting like that for example this will come here and connecting to this uh, I will make like this okay connecting to this connecting to this and connecting to this and this one i will say this one to connect to this and connecting to this and uh, for example i'm saying this this is the loop one okay so we'll connecting like this okay and uh, we'll say this one this is a loop one and i i, I just return back to this one to our uh, uh, our our riser okay so this loop one is completed over here and just uh, And just say this is the loop one okay. so my loop one is completed then you need to give the dimensions for this uh, uh, this one okay and to from how much distance it's going okay for example I'm just showing some part only so you can uh, you can follow the other things like uh, uh, dimensions things and everything you can give it and once you did that one the loop one is completed okay so then um, you can say this one is the loop one from uh, from ground floor if uh, from FACP okay FACP number also you can give FAC fire alarm control panel one okay, okay. so it is going to the uh, fire alarm control panel and uh, from there it, it is going it was going to the um, going to the uh, main control panel okay so from here you can say this one of SCP one so we can we need to give the number of this one okay for example I am giving loop one okay uh, for example this one I am giving uh, for example it's a continuation okay so just uh, giving a l0 l1 0 0 1 okay then you can just give another uh, the same way you can you need to do for this all the areas okay so I'm just showing only one exercise so you can continue with that like that and next step is this one so just this one I need to give L02 okay so this one I need to give L03 for the loop number okay so as per this we are creating this um, uh, schematic okay so this one uh, four okay so like that we are giving this uh, loop numbers five okay and this one uh, is six and, and don't forget to give a dimension to all the uh, fire alarm systems okay so the, this is the for the construction purpose we need to give the uh, dimensions okay six uh, this one is seven okay, so just to give a dimension to all the uh, systems from the main wall you can take the dimensions okay so that is easy to take it okay so then this is seven then this is eight okay and this one is a nine loop nine uh, no the system name is uh, system connecting to the loop is the nine number and copy this one and this one is the ten okay like that we are connecting and connecting to this uh, this one is loop one is going to the uh, next we can log one to to fsap one you can write it like that 
okay so you can write it like this okay so really so this is loop one from the two fscp and one loop is coming to the um uh, coming to uh, this one okay so you can make some uh, some arrow type also uh, rotate and scale it this one uh, two and you can give some color for this one okay so it means it's going to the uh, fscp and scale it a little bit more and you can copy this one okay so this one is this loop is coming uh, from the uh, uh, from the fire alarm okay so you can uh, do like this and copy that one okay so you can uh, you can rotate this one okay so it is going to the fire alarm one is going to the fire alarm one is um, coming from the fire alarm okay so you can uh, you can do the way is uh, same same way okay so the mean the the idea is uh, one is uh, um, coming from the loop like this and going going through like that okay copy like copy the things okay so just uh, I'll, I'll show you how to do it so so the loop is coming from here okay and uh, it is going to on this way this way and going like this and here you can just uh, mirror it this one and it is going like this it is going like that okay then uh, it will go like this okay and uh, this will be going through going to the return like that so the loop uh, loop is going like that okay and this is 10 okay then 11 so it is connected to each other okay so 11 then uh, all okay so you can continuously you can give the name and it is connecting to the uh, fire alarm panel so if you like my video please subscribe my channel it's totally related to autocad and rivet don't forget to subscribe my channel it's some more informative video i am giving on this uh, channel okay thanks for watching thank you please subscribe my channel thanks for watching